Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes from around the 18th, 19th, 20th. You know, the timing is fluid, so we're just going to see what comes up. Money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. So this path is waiting for you to find it. You haven't found it yet. Oh, this one's reversed. Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. So there could be a decrease, but you, the, there's a path that is here that you have to find. If you want the increase, you're going to have to go down that path. You may have some sort of idea or skill that can make you money. But you may have to go back to something or go in a different direction because of the fish. Hmm. Fishes are always, you know, going all over the place. Increase in material wealth. There's spiritual growth. There's delays. There's delays. You may need to go against the current. Go in a completely different direction. This path is waiting for you to find it. It's waiting for you to find it right now. Let's get a couple of these. What do we have? Uh, this path is waiting for you. You have to look in a completely new direction that you've been going down. This is not the same direction. <laughs> now that happened for a reason. Two weeks from now, two, if you start looking right now, in two weeks from now, you will find out what this is. You'll, you'll get it. But you need to start looking right now. In two weeks from now, if you look in a completely different direction, in two weeks from now, this path will open up for you. What are we... I'm leaving it there because that's what obviously where it was meant to be. What do we have for a message today? You have to listen to your intuition, okay? And there's no such thing as coincidence, so really pay attention to that. Emperor. The Emperor's boss, father, judge, leader. This is somebody that is taking charge, um, getting organized. This is somebody that is taking a leadership position that is in a leadership position, um, making a decision. This is a decision that is best for everyone. This may be a tough decision. It may be a hard decision. It may have to do with, you know, you know, what is best for the people? What is best for everybody involved? It's kind of like the boss that has to make a decision for the group, the employees, you know, or the father that has to make the best decision for the family. It could be the judge that has to make the best decision for, you know, everybody involved. Either way, this is bossing up, okay, and taking charge of a situation using your head. You have the skills, maybe, to be a leader. But you have to make tough decisions based on facts. You know, you have to remove your feelings from the situation. Now, the emperor is very wise. This is a masculine energy that has a lot of life experience and it's taking action on and using that experience. Use your experience. You have some sort of experience. Like I said, a skill. I said it back here. You have a skill that can maybe put you in a leadership position. If it's not you, there could be somebody that wants your skills that will, that only, that, you know, I'm going to make a decision based on your skills, not based on my feelings, not based on my emotions, right? Yeah. 
Let's cut this deck. I mean, this is somebody that is very confident and strong and knowledgeable. I messed with the settings on the camera. Right? This is a person in a position of high authority. This person has earned a lot of respect from others. Now you may, this could be you, you, you know, this is gaining respect, has a lot of respect. Now in a position where you have to make a decision, you know, based on the facts, remove your emotions from the decision. It's time to get organized. It's time for structure. Ooh, two of cups reversed. That's a separation. That's a detachment. That is detaching from a partnership, contract. There's disharmony. Maybe there's an argument. There's lack of compatibility. Not seeing eye to eye. There's definitely a partnership here that is not on the same page. Oh, two twos. We have another two there as well. So this definitely has to do with choices, partnerships, changes, realignment, decisions to be made. You have to make a choice. Again, this is about a choice. This is definitely about the choices that you make. And this is a balancing act. You may need to be more flexible. Interesting. Two weeks from now. This is about making a change that is needed to bring balance and harmony into your life. You need to make a choice in re regards to who you're dealing with. That two of pentacles is a profit and loss, right? It's ups and downs and there's a need to make a choice to have a balance. You, you probably have to let something go. And I'm sorry to keep saying that, but that's the story. There's a lack of unity, lack of togetherness. Somebody's not doing their part. There's definitely a realignment. I was going to say, I don't know if there's a reorganization as well. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. This has to do with the partnership. It has to do with the choice that you need to make. You have to look in a completely different direction. This is all part of your spiritual growth. Staying stagnant and staying in situations that are going nowhere. Continuing to just follow the crowds. Kind of like going with the current is not going to bring you financial success. It's not going to put you in a leadership position. You need to take the lead. Ah, oh, now it's upright. That's interesting. Two of cups happens all the time. Making a decision again about a partnership, about a union. Somebody obviously has a choice. Ooh, there's heartache, there's grief, there's suffering here. We have somebody here that is in great pain. They've been hurt really, really badly. It's raining. I mean, it rains, it pours, huh? There's sorrow. There's deep sorrow over the loss of a partnership. I feel like there's somebody here that is in a position of authority that is seeing something, I don't know, maybe it has to do with somebody's pain, somebody's grief. Now this is a loss. It is a loss. So this is a loss of a partnership, loss, it could be loss of a, I mean, it could be a boss, could be, I mean, it could be a loss of a boss, could be loss of a father. I don't know. That is, could be a loss of a, a masculine, you know. 
This is crying over the loss of a partnership. Deep, deep, deep sorrow. Illusionary success, seven of cups reversed. This is seeing very clearly. Thank you for the confirmation. So this is something being seen very, very clearly. This is becoming clear of a choice. There's been confusion. There's been uh, delusion. Somebody's been exploring their options. They've been, been unsure of what choice to make. There's been multiple, multiple options. Somebody has made a choice in the past that maybe has brought them short-lived success there is another option here you have to master your emotions like i said you do have to master your emotions a path is waiting for you to find it but you have to make a choice your choices determine your success so this is becoming clear of a choice after being confused Seeing very clearly, there's clarity that is coming. This is a loss. Now, I don't know if it's a loss of a, of a, a job or a partner. Um, mm -hmm. This is hurting. So we do have a, somebody here that is in pain. It looks like it's a masculine that is in pain. We also, I mean, there's a feminine as well in this card. Anyhow. Made poor choices. Short-lived success. Four of Wands. The Four of Wands has to do with happiness, commitment, home. Now, this could be a long-term commitment around the corner. There's a door here. It's going through some sort of archway, going through a new doorway, committing to something. So a decision is being made in regards to a commitment, marriage, I feel, or a contract, a partnership. This has to do with long-term commitment. Now, like I said, this could be a new job. It could be a new love, whatever it is. There's a, there's a partnership here that is maybe stepping it up to the next level as well. Or somebody is seeing something very clearly about a commitment or it could be a marriage partner. Um could be a work partner. Ooh, Ace of Cups reverse. The Ace of Cups reverse is emotional withdrawal. This is sad. This is tears. This is definitely tears. This this is tears. It's sad. It's emotions all over the place this is hurting um withdrawing we did see detachment in the cut i feel like we have somebody here that is definitely in some sort of emotional pain um grieving over a loss this is seeing very clearly that um i mean there's no love and there, we've had unrequited love quite a bit of time. I mean, quite a bit. Ace of Cups reversed is sad. It's it's not happy. Definitely grieving over a loss. Seeing very clearly. I feel like we, and this equals the Eight of Cups reversed. I feel like we have somebody here that has been staying put maybe pretending they're happy in a situation that is emotionally draining empty there's emptiness here there's not there's no reciprocation or there's just sadness over you know everything that has happened seeing very clearly that there's there's nothing there there's nothing there it's empty. The cup is upside down. You can't fight gravity. The cup is empty. Like I said, I think somebody's been staying put in a situation. This is uh, Eight of Swords. Self-imposed restrictions. 
staying put, maybe in a victim mentality. Choosing not to see, but something is being seen because this is clarity about happiness, commitment, home, marriage. And this could be, you know, a commitment to a job or a lover or whatever it is. But this is self-imposed restrictions. Somebody has been trapped in their mind in a position that they don't want to be in, but they do. It's like, it feels safe here. They have a mentality where I can't break free, but they can break free. This is somebody that is in a victim mentality. Mentality. It's like, I can't break free from this. I can't, I can't see the way out looking for somebody to come save them when they need to save themselves. You need to save yourself. There's an opportunity to break free from your limitations. There's an opportunity for you to step into new territory. You just need to find your inner strength. You need to find your courage. You need to be brave. You need to take a risk. You need to face your fears. You need to look at reality. You need to take the blindfold off. You need to be honest with yourself. This is your choice. This is self-imposed restrictions. Staying in a situation that feels safe, that is... Uh, I feel like it's abusive. I feel like there's a lot of manipulation in that situation. And this is somebody that is like choosing not to see that it's manipulation or maybe just doesn't have the inner strength to break free. But this is... Um, seeing very clearly that this is I wonder if there's a there's a trap or this is like uh, mental confusion see there may be somebody here that is playing the victim that you know this is emotional manipulation here as well we may have somebody here that plays the victim as a form of emotional manipulation you know Somebody is also trapped in, in some sort of commitment or delusion, illusion. They've been choosing not to commit themselves to uh, a new path because maybe there's a lack of self-love. Anyhow... Making a decision, it's a painful decision about a loveless situation that somebody has been trapped in, tied to, maybe committed to. Maybe they were um, choosing not to see, but this is seeing very clearly that this isn't love. I mean, I, I, it is what it is. The lovers. And there's another choice. Somebody is making an unexpected choice. This definitely has to do with a partnership. It has to do with a union. There's a soulmate connection here. I feel like we have somebody here that has been choosing to ignore it. It's like ignore their feelings. They may have another option. This is making a choice whether, you know... This could be any type of contract, put it that way. We have a we have a loveless contract and we have another option. We definitely have another option. There is another option here. But you have to break free from your limitations. And I saw it here too. It's like if you keep going in the same direction or you keep staying put or you're swimming in circles, go in a different direction. There's an opportunity. This is a perfect match, a perfect contract, one that is unified. But you, this is your choice. This is your choice. This is about making a choice in regards to facing your fears and being honest with yourself about your happiness. Do you want happiness or do you want to be trapped in a situation that is causing a lot of mental turmoil that makes you feel like you're in prison? I mean, come on now. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. Stop following the crowd. Stop going against the current. Go in your own direction. Be your own boss. Boss up. Take charge. 
If something is hurting you, acknowledge your emotions. Acknowledge your intuition. There's other options. There always is other options. There always is. But somebody often will use victim mentality. Say, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. Well, that's victim mentality. You can do whatever you put your mind to. You just say, I can do it. Some, but there's a new, this is the new door that we've been talking about, but this person can't see that because they're so focused on staying in the situation that they're in. They're ignoring. That's the door. That's the opportunity waiting for you. We've been talking about open up your eyes There's an opportunity right in front of you, but you're not seeing it. I don't know if you're disillusioned or you're confused or you're making, you keep making poor choices, not listening to your intuition. This is an unexpected choice in love. It is. And this is a perfect match. And it's clear that it's a perfect match. And whether this is love or work or whatever it is, this has to do with a contract. And this is a good connection. This is a perfect connection. But you have to open up your eyes and you have to break free from whatever is keeping you tied down. Whatever is keeping you trapped. Whether it's a previous commitment or... It's a belief or it's a mindset or maybe it's just a lack of self-love. We may have somebody here that feels obligated to stay in a situation that is making them very unhappy. But, you know, that's your life. You get to choose. You choose your life, right? There is another choice here. This is not what you expect. It's not your usual type put it that way chariot reversed this is not mastering emotions emotions all over the place which we talked about somebody is stuck they're trapped in a mindset trapped in the past maybe stuck in the past maybe they don't want to move they don't want to get take charge they don't there's a lack of self-discipline Maybe we have, you know, this is loss of willpower. Staying in some sort of commitment, contract, marriage, whatever it is that is causing a lot of mental turmoil. Hiding behind a mask as well. It's like pretending that this is happy. It's like, oh, I'm so happy. We're in a happy marriage. I'm in a happy commitment. Bullshit. Two weeks from now, you there's an opportunity that will be put in front of you. Whether you choose, maybe it's already been put in front of you. And you've ignored it. This is an opportunity to go through a new door. Will you ignore the opportunity? Or are you going to stay stuck doing the same thing that you've been doing in the past and not going anywhere? This is lack of success. Lack of victory due to victim mentality and uh, fear. There's no fear. There's no faith. There's fear. There's a need to have faith and trust. There's a need to get moving. There's a need to move forward. Stop going back. Stop looking back. Stop going in the same direction. You're not a victim. And people will say, yes, I am a victim. Well, that's your mentality. Then there's no victory. There's no success. You have to face your fears. You need to be willing to break free from your own limitations. There's an opportunity that right close, okay? It's close. It's right here. It's right close to home. It's right close. Maybe you're just choosing not to see it. We may have somebody here that's grieving over the loss of a masculine and I don't know, they're just struggling, 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 struggling. We also may have a masculine that's grieving over the loss of somebody and they just, 
are staying in a mindset that they can't, they can't. It's like, I can't, I can't. Why? Because of fear? Fear of what? Fear of rejection? So anyway, in the next two weeks, there's an opportunity here maybe to get together. This opportunity could break you free from your current situation. But it is definitely absolutely absolutely going to be your choice. And this will require you to go against the grain, against the flow. What do we have for today? This is a perfect match. It's clear that it is. But if you want to stay where you're at and not move forward and be stuck in some sort of commitment that is going nowhere and causing a lot of anger and negative emotions and, well, that's your choice. This is a choice. You have a choice. This is your choice. Watching clouds lie back, rest, and relax. Take a time out to think about what you want. Think about it. Do you want to lie back, rest, and relax? Huh? Wouldn't that be nice? To not be in a place of strife? It's your choice. You can have a nice relaxing life, you know, where it's at ease. Or you can choose to be in a situation that you're constantly battling in. Lie back, rest and relax. Take a time out to reflect on what you want. What do you want? Are you trying to go in a direction that is no longer meant for you? And you're having a lot of resistance? Maybe it's time to, you know, really lay back. Go Literally, lay back. Look at the clouds. Take a time out and just think about where do you see yourself in a year or three years or five years? Do you really want to be in the same situation? impasse re <laughs> reflect and redirect your energy that is what we talked about during this whole reading reflect and redirect your energy it's a completely new direction good luck